Hello, and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Tom, and in this series of videos, we're looking at SAP S4 HANA. In this series, we're showing you how to extend the SAP S4 HANA with external data. In part 12, we will show you how to prepare the CDS views for the KPI models. Please note that this video set shows certain features in the SAP HANA database, which may require specific licenses, even if you're using S4 HANA. If you are using your own S4 HANA system and are not using the S4 HANA trial, please contact your account executive or partner manager to see if you are licensed to use these SAP HANA database features. SAP HANA Smart Data Access SAP HANA Smart Data Integration Creating a virtual table in SAP HANA and creating a calculation view in SAP HANA. In a previous video in this series, we created a CDS Extend view which essentially appended columns from an external data source into a SAP S4 HANA consumption view. This consumption view, which was not directly altered during this process, also published an OData service. We saw our external data combined with SAP S4 HANA data in that OData service, and we also looked at the output in the view browser. The steps thus far in the video series have therefore given us what is needed to combine external data with SAP S4 HANA data and make that combined result available to any tools that can consume OData services, or of course, any tools that can consume HANA SQL views. Now we want to take this one step further and outline how to display the combined data results in the S4 HANA launchpad using the KPI modeler. Our goal in the next videos is to have a KPI tile that displays a summary value and also allows the end user to drill down into a template report that has further details from our combined data. Please note that any syntax that you see in this video for the CDS views or the OData service URL will be on file in our GitHub repository. If you're watching this video on the SAP HANA Academy's YouTube channel, the link to the file is in the description for this video. In order to accomplish our end goal, we need to first make some changes to our CDS virtual data model so that we will have an OData service that works with the KPI modeler. In particular, we need to add an entity or column to the results set that we can aggregate and then make that aggregation available to analytics such as the KPI modeler. As you can see right now, we have only dimensional data being returned by our OData service. If we look at the virtual data model we've built in this series, we have two views based on our internal SAP S4 HANA data, the airport basic view and the airport consumption view. These are the two that we still don't want to make any direct changes to. The other two views are the airport geo basic or interface view and the airport QGS extend view, which was used to append fields onto the airport query consumption view without us having to directly modify that view. Our first change will be on the Airport Geo Interface view, and we would like to add a column to that view that we can later use in an aggregation. Please note, what we're going to do next is to show only technical steps, and this is not in any way a real business story. Basically, we're going to indicate which airports have a service URL, and then later we'll create a count of those. If we look at the output of our Airport Geo view, we can see that some of the URLs have the airport code right after the word status. So we'll assume that those airports have valid web services. The ones that won't have any valid services are those that don't have an airport code and therefore have a question mark format after status. Back in the airport geo view, we're going to use one of the available SQL functions for ABOP CDS, and that is the in string function. We'll add a comma and then a new line after the last airport service column, and then type in INSTR parentheses and paste in the airport service field name for the text that we'll search in. The text that we're going to search for is going to be single quotation mark forward slash status forward slash question mark single quotation mark, which again will flag any airports that don't have a service URL. We'll also need to assign this formula an alias so we'll call it service underscore check. If we preview the data again, we see that the airports with a web service have a value of zero for the formula output. Normally, 
We'd also want to add a semantic line for this formula, but there doesn't seem to be one that quite matches what we're doing. If you want to find out what other functions are available for your ABOP CDS, please do a browser search on help.sap.com ABOP CDS SQL string functions. And the first link you should see will take you to the page that includes the in string function we just used. Go up one level in the page's drill path, and you can get to a page with links to numeric and other type functions. Now that we have a formula that we can use as a measure, we'll move on to the airport QGS extend view to add an aggregation of that formula. What we're going to do here is first add a case statement with a structure that is case, when, then, else, end. For the when clause, we'll bring in our new service underscore check field and look for a zero value, which means that the airport has a web service. In the then clause, we'll assign a value of one when there's a web service, else a zero. We'll want to assign an alias to the case output and we'll call it has underscore service. The next step is to assign a default aggregation to this case so that when the OData service is used in analytics, there will be, as the name suggests, a default aggregation type. Add a new line above the case statement and start to type in at default and press enter when you see default aggregation. Press control space to see the available values for aggregation. We're going to choose some and that in essence will produce a count for all of the airports with web services. After activating the view, we can now go back to our open OData service tab and the has underscore service field should be available after refreshing it once or twice. To make it easier to see what airports have a web service, we can append an order by clause to our OData URL. And the syntax for that is question mark dollar sign order by equals has underscore service space DESC. And now we see the airports that have a service as indicated by a flag of has underscore service equals one. In a latter video, we'll also be showing a chart where we'll count the number of services for each time zone. We can get this result set now in our OData service by limiting the fields that we output to the has underscore service and the airport time zone field. This is similar as you would do in SQL with a select clause. Since we defined a default aggregation of sum earlier in our extend view CDS, we now see that the has service entity is now summed for each of the discrete airport time zone values. We've now altered our virtual data model to include an aggregate or summary value. Our next step in our next video is to create a business catalog and a business catalog group, which are to organize and define content for eligible users in the SAP S4HANA launchpad.